Joining me is head coach Laura Groff. Coach Groff, impressive game. Tell me a little bit about the excitement. Oh my gosh, what part of it? You know, I mean, it was like the ups and downs. It felt like a dang roller coaster, you know, from coming back and winning set one and then being, what did we get, be 25 to 14 or something? I don't know, it was pretty bad. And, uh, and then just kind of blah, game three too, you know, and then they just came out and I just like player game, you know, and, um, and it just took a few sparks, you know, from a great dig to a great kill, you know, I mean, there just were too many ups and too many downs to pinpoint. That was a huge comeback in the fourth game. What what did they start doing different? What were you telling them? Um, basically to serve tough. I mean, we were serving them lollipops, and they're a great team. And so when they can set any hitter, it really puts us on the defense, and it's hard to dig or block them. So I thought we became more aggressive and basically started doing things that are characteristic of us. We made a lot of hitting errors, keep the ball in play, make them bring it to us because we're a great defensive team, and they just played smarter. Uh, did you learn anything from Rice after that first match? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we always learn, but I think we learn more about us. And I think that's what's important is that you got to learn from our mistakes in order to get better and, and be ready for them because we play them again. How important is communication during these matches? Oh, it's huge. When ball falls between two people or, you know, like we call a timeout and we tell the girls to go do something and they don't do it, you know, it's that's that's a struggle so it's, it's really big that they pay attention they focus and they um, listen to each other besides the win what were some things you did you think the team did well tonight um i thought overall i mean everything really you know i mean i, I just think we had some lows and some highs i you know we didn't serve well there for a while i don't know how many serving errors we had and then we we served tough when it counted um you know they hit some shots we we hit some balls out of bounds we told them to hit shots they they changed their defense. We found the holes. Uh, you know, I think there were just a lot, there are too many things really to pinpoint, but there were there were quite a few. Well, congrats again on the win, and thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Here with me is senior Dempsey Thornton. Dempsey, it was such an exciting game. Tell me how you felt during that last match. We just really went back to the fundamentals. We do this every day in practice. It was great to be at home. We had such the momentum of a great crowd. Uh, match two and three went to rise. Tell me how you kept your team uplifted. We, again, it's just back to fundamentals. We knew that that wasn't the volleyball that we know how to play, and so we tried to just get back to playing the serve and pass game that we you know, do every single day. What was the most exciting part of the match for you personally? I think uh, the most exciting part was when Diana went back and served a tough ball right down the line at 7-7 in game five. She was big time, knowing and challenging the sideline, not trying to just get the ball in, but really competing and going for the win. You're an all-around player. Uh, do you prefer back row or front row? Definitely front row. This is the first year I've uh, played back row, and I'm learning. It's a learning curve, and it's fun. I love being able to stay in a rhythm, but I definitely uh, find joy in getting, getting my shoulder going in the front row. Your serves are very consistent this game. Do you have a special routine you do each time? I do. I definitely take the longest and kind of wait for the gym to get quiet. It's kind of an awkward thing, but five bounces, a spin, and then take a really deep breath so I can focus on hitting my spot in my zone with a tough serve. I know this game was very special to you. Do you want to tell us about that? Sure. This is um, our Triumph Over Kid Cancer Toga um, game. My best friend from home, James Reagan, started this foundation when we were 13 years old. So, and, um, and it, he lost his battle to cancer last February, and my coaches in this athletics program has been so supportive of me having to pick up and, and go home and spend time with him as he was dying. And so they, we partnered together with this idea, and we've raised a lot of awareness, and all the proceeds um, from this game are going to his foundation. Well, congrats on the win, and thank you so much, Dempsey. Thank you. Exciting game tonight. UTSA defeats Rice 3-2. to two. For more information, visit our website, go utsa.com. For the Roadrunner Sports Network, I'm Lexis Green.